which means Judith gets the first one. Here you go, Judith. Which footballer enigmatically commented in 1995 that when seagulls follow a trawler, it is because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea? Was it Paul Gascoigne, Eric Cantona, or Roy Keane? I read that the other day. I think it's Eric Cantona. Don't ask me why. I mean... No, I won't ask you why. I mean... To I this, can't expand on that anymore. To, 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 to this day, people are <laughs> scratching their heads about uh, what exactly uh, this particular player meant. Um, but is it uh, Ua, Mr. Cantona? It is. Okay. Indeed, yeah. 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 This age's greatest philosophers. <laughs> yeah, Cantona said, when seagulls follow a trawl, it's because they think sardines will be thrown into the sea. So there you are, Judith. One to you. Okay, uh, your first question, Colin. Desmond Douglas has represented England in which sport? Is it table tennis, badminton, or real tennis? Desmond Douglas. Yep, the thing that came to my mind before you put the categories up, I, I, I have an inkling, I have an inkling that he actually played table tennis for... for so I'm going to go for table tennis. It's the right answer. Well done, Colin. One all. OK, Judith, your second question. Whom did Dennis Taylor defeat on the last black of the match to win the 1985 World Snooker Championship? Was it Alex Higgins, Jimmy White, or Steve Davis? 1985. 1985. Um, <laughs> um, I, I just don't know. Um... I'm trying to work out when, when they were um, playing, um, in 85, 85, 85. I think it might be Steve Davis. Okay. Did you watch it, Judith? Oh, I can't remember that far back. <laughs> well, an awful lot of people did. 20 it was, years ago. Yeah, well, it, um, it was a moment in televisual history as well. I think it was one of the largest post-midnight audiences uh, in the history of television, something like 20 million or something yeah. like that watching. Um, and uh, Dennis Taylor, they watched Dennis Taylor defeat who, Eggheads? Steve, Steve Davis. Steve Davis, it's the right answer, Judith. Good. Well done. So, your second question, Colin. Which athlete won the 1995 BBC Sports Personality of the Year Award? Jonathan Edwards, Linford Christie or Sally Gunnell? Uh, it's got to be related to the 1994 Olympic, the 1994 Olympics. Um, I'm saying that, there wasn't an Olympics in 1994, was there? <laughs> <laughs> I could see the egg hedge just kind yeah. of thinking that one. Yeah, yeah that's what right. so, she that's said it. So, we have, yeah. Um, so, did Jonathan Edwards do something spectacular in his triple jump? Uh, did Linford Christie? Linford Christie was very active around that time. Um, I'm gonna think that Sally was mainly involved in, in the Olympics, you know, her triumphs were all in the Olympics. I think, I think, I think it's Linford Christie. Eggheads. Jonathan Edwards, after he set the world record for the triple jump at 18 metres 29 in Gothenburg. Yeah. In 1995, in 1995. Mm -hmm. but no, not Linford Christie. So nothing there, which means Judith, you can uh, you can win it with this uh, this question. Win a sports category, be exciting. It would. In 2004, which motorcyclist won his third consecutive MotoGP World title? Was it Valentino Rossi, Neil Hodgson, or Troy Bayliss? This is not something I've read about. Um. I think it's going to have to be a pure guess. Um, I, I don't know. Neil Hodgson. Well, it's Valentino Rossi. Bad luck, Judith. Chance to win, but that um, means it could be all square, Colin, if you get this, and this will uh, take us into sudden death. Larry Bird represented which basketball team throughout his career? Was it the uh, LA Lakers, the Boston Celtics, or the Chicago Bulls? I'm afraid I've not visited every basketball course in the, in the country. <laughs> um, now, that would be expensive. It would, it would. Um, 
I'm trying to rule out Chicago Bulls because they don't even sound like a, a, a basketball team. So, um, I mean, on the on the pure pure notion that I've heard of LA Lakers, I, I'm I'm going to go with LA Lakers. Okay, Eggheads, Boston Celtics. He was one of the uh, the great dynasty they had in the in the 80s in particular. Um, the answer is the Boston Celtics, Colin, as we were just hearing from Kevin, not the LA Lakers. Larry Bird represented uh, them throughout his career, which means, I'm afraid, Colin, you won't be representing the Rainbow Warriors in the uh, final round. It means Judith is through to be playing there for the Eggheads. Uh, Judith and Colin, would you please come back and join your teammates?